All right. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am Candace Woods and my colleague Jeanetta Frazier <clears throat> are the community outreach representatives for Philadelphia Works, the city's workforce development board. Today, our organization will be hosting this webinar session, which is entitled Census Jobs Help to Make Philly Count in partnership with the US Census Bureau and Philly Counts. This valuable partner, the valuable partnerships with the US Census Bureau and Philly Counts have enabled Philadelphia Works to maximize our impact in promoting the importance of the 2020 census, as well as market the terrific census job opportunities. Today's webinar will include speakers who are fully committed to the success of the 2020 census and are passionate about ensuring that you, the audience members, can confidently apply for these census jobs. Our lineup of speakers today include Patrick Clancy, President and CEO of Philadelphia Works, Gabriella Rasta, Engagement Manager for Philly Counts, and Ansbrecca Council Homes, a regional census center recruiter for the U.S. Census Bureau. In addition, we have Tamika Norman and Tiffany Carter. They are recruiting managers for the U.S. Census Bureau, and they will be our moderators, and they will be hosting or doing the question and answer segment at the end. This informative webinar will include several key topics, and they are the importance of the 2020 census, employment <laughs> opportunities, tips and guidance for applying for the open positions, information about pay rates, and finally, safety measures that are being taken by the U.S. Census Bureau to protect the employees, especially as it relates to COVID-19. Great. So before we officially begin the webinar today, I would like to cover a few housekeeping topics. First, we ask that you please keep your microphone muted during the webinar. Secondly, please note, um, as I mentioned earlier, that the webinar is being recorded so that we can continue to share it with our networks. Third, during the webinar, we invite questions to be submitted by attendees in the chat box. And these questions may be typed in the chat box at any point during the webinar but the questions will only be answered by the moderators during the questions and answer segment. And then finally, if you're an audience member that is dialing in, please feel free to ask your questions after the moderators have addre addressed the questions in the chat box. Um, so the moderators will alert audience members that have dialed in when they may ask their questions. So at this time, I'm gonna hand the floor over to Patrick Clancy, President and CEO of Philadelphia Works. Patrick, Great. it's all yours. Thanks, Candace. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Janetta. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, it is sunny in Philadelphia, so it's a good thing. So all that's been said, there is no better time and a more important time than this time we're in right now. Uh, the Census 2020 is extremely important to everything we do in the city and as a nation. Uh, and we are thrilled to be a partner with Philly Counts, with the U.S. Census Bureau, because we believe these are, one, critical jobs in the community, Two, the mission of the of the work is really important. And three, the flexibility and the understanding of what what the census really means. Right. And I, and I think today we're going to have a great opportunity to learn more about those jobs, about how COVID has changed our life uh, and really about the importance of signing up, uh, participating, asking questions. Uh, we love it when people are active. Uh, this is a high energy job for people. Uh, it's an opportunity to make a real difference, though, in your community. And I think as a workforce board that's dedicated to the mission of getting people back to work, it was a absolute no brainer for us to be a partner in this. So we look at we look forward to having a very successful webinar. Uh, I think we hope from Philadelphia Works perspective that the word gets out to everybody. Uh, we believe that the census needs a lot of good people that are willing to work hard. Uh, so without further ado, I will hand it off to the next speaker and say thank you very much for dialing in. All right, awesome. Thank you, Patrick. And those were inspiring words to jumpstart our webinar. All right. Okay, next we will hear from Gabriella Ratska, Engagement Manager for Philly Counts. Gabby, you're on. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Uh, again, I'm Gabby and I'm the engagement manager at Philly Counts, uh, the city's temporary office working with the Census Bureau to increase the response rate here in Philadelphia. 
On behalf of Philly Counts and the City of Philadelphia, I want to thank all of you for joining us today for this webinar. I also want to thank our extraordinary partners at the at Philadelphia Works for organizing this, especially Candace Woods and Janetta Johnson. Janetta Frazier, I'm so sorry, Janetta. <laughs> Um, personally, it is an honor to be working on the 2020 census because I believe that in order for our democracy to work for us, we all have to participate. And I know that it is incredibly important that my community receives every dollar it deserves to serve the people that live here. And I also know that who is representing Philadelphia and Pennsylvania in the decisions around lawmaking and policy and government will have a direct impact on me and my family and, you know, all the people that I love. So with that in mind, I feel incredibly humbled and driven to do this work for an accurate count in Philadelphia. Um, I hope that in addition to providing the financial support many of us need in this difficult time, that these jobs that we're applying for today will bring a sense of pride as you help to ensure that the people that matter to you get counted. Federal funds will be needed to recover and to rebuild after the pandemic, um, but these funds will be given out based on population data, much of which is determined by census. So it's more critical than ever that we make sure every person here is counted. Many people think the census is over and that it's too late to respond. So please help us get the word out. That is not the case. Tell your friends and family. Um, they've extended the deadline to complete the census to October 31st. People can fill it out today. It's quick. It's easy. It only takes a few minutes. Uh, it's safe and secure. Your information cannot be used against you by any individual or company or agency. Um, and you can do it online, right? You can do it from your phone, tablet, computer, whatever you have available, or you can call if that's not convenient for you. So please visit 2020census.gov or call 844-330-2020. Again, 2020census.gov or 844-330-2020. And with that, I just want to thank you all again and um, wish you the best of luck in both this and your future career. Thank you, Gabby, for your remarks. All right, uh, next we will hear from Anne's, Bre Anne, Anne's Brecca, excuse me, Council Holmes, who will be conducting the U.S. Census Bureau presentation. Great, thank you so very much. Yes, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, my name is Ann Sbrecka, Council Home. I am a recruiter at the Regional Census Center here in Philadelphia. I handle the recruiting activities for the Philadelphia area, in addition to the entire state of Pennsylvania, as well as Ohio, Virginia, West Virginia, and Delaware. Uh, with me today, I have a couple of moderators. I have Ms. Tamika Norman, and Ms. Marjorina Jones. They are both uh, recruiting managers here in the city of Philadelphia. They will serve as my moderators. They'll be answering your questions in the chat box as well as handling the live questions. Okay. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to Philadelphia Works and Philly Counts for having us here today because the census jobs are very important. The U.S. Census Bureau, what we're going to discuss here today are the goals of the 2020 Census, how the data is used, the confidentiality and privacy involved with working for the Census, as well as the employment opportunities that we have available. Just a moment. There we are. The 2020 census goals. Our goal at the census is to count everyone once, only once, and in the right place. Uh, what we mean by that is census day was April 1st of 2020. So the goal of the census is to make sure wherever you lived on April 1st that you were counted only once at that particular residence. Now, what we did a little differently this year for 2020 is that we maximize our outreach by using both traditional and new media. Um, if you've noticed, we've done a lot of advertisements, whether it be on TV or radio and online. We're offering and encouraging people to respond online by mail or by the phone. 
So either way, the most important thing is to be counted. We're providing our field workers with handheld devices for collecting census data, and we're utilizing automated systems for recruiting, training, and payroll. With, unfortunately, with the pandemic, um, it kind of changed things up a little bit. So most of our recruiting and training that we do, we're doing uh, from afar so that we're maintaining our social distancing. The way that we use census data, we use it to conduct redistricting and federal, state, and local levels. We apportion seats in the U.S. House of Representatives, and we also use the, the data to determine how over $675 billion federal dollars is distributed to state and local governments. We use it to provide statistical support for grant applications and to plan for future needs, different types of programs and services. Things like uh, planning out bus routes, making sure that we have the appropriate amount of schools and neighborhoods. The most important thing is to be counted so that your local and state community are getting their share of the budget. Your responses determine how programs are funded things like Section 8 housing, Head Start and Pre-K for children, small business development centers, SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, Medicaid and Medicare, roads and highways, emergency services like hospitals and firehouses, and libraries. So these are all very essential services to our communities. So again, you being counted plays a great role. Let's get our fair share. Now, at the Census Bureau, uh, you have, the Census does have legal protection. All of the information that we collect is strictly confidential and cannot be used against you. The law requires that the Census Bureau keep citizens' information confidential and use their responses only to produce statistics. As a Census Bureau employee, we are actually sworn to a, life, a lifetime oath to protect, protect respondent information. There is a penalty for wrongful disclosure, and that penalty is five years of imprisonment and or a fine of up to $250,000. So we definitely take confidentiality and privacy of the utmost value. The 2020 census is hiring. You can earn extra income while keeping your community, while helping your community be counted. What we're looking for in census takers? Well, you have to apply online, okay? We do not take paper applications or walk-ins. You have to be a minimum age of 18. You must be a U.S. citizen. There's no experience necessary, no educational requirements, and no resume that is needed. Okay? And the way that you would apply is by going to the 2020census.gov forward slash jobs. Now, here at the Philadelphia Area Census Office, we're recruiting millions of applicants to fill hundreds of thousands of temporary field positions and thousands of temporary office positions necessary to complete the 2020 census. There is a lot of work that goes into the 2020 census, so we definitely want you. Again, that website to apply is 2020census.gov forward slash jobs. Now, here are the few of the job titles that we're currently hiring for. Um, the recruiting assistant, they're responsible for assisting with recruiting and testing job applicants. Uh, we don't have many of these positions left. I just want to emphasize that. The census field supervisor, they appoint, train, and supervise the enumerators. Enumerators are also called field reps. They're engaged in the data collection. 
Again, we don't have many of those positions left either. Office operations supervisor, they coordinate, supervise, and oversee the work of office clerks and special functional areas. Those positions are limited as well. The bulk of our positions at this particular time are for the enumerator, which is also called the field representative. They are locally hired who perform field enumeration activities in and around their respective neighborhoods. And we may have a few clerk positions in Philadelphia. Uh, the office clerks perform a wide variety of clerical functions in the support of field data, like collecting, recruiting, payroll, personnel, quality assurance. But the bulk of our positions that we're currently looking for and have our greatest need is the enumerator. And with all of our positions, whether it be the recruiting assistants, where we were looking for several thousand, the office operations supervisor, we would look for a couple hundred, the clerk, several thousands, the census field supervisor, there were several thousands, but the biggest need is for enumerators. Those are our door-to-door -door positions. They update the address lists and maps, and they knock on doors and conduct interviews with respondents. We're looking to fill hundreds of thousands of those particular positions. Now, a bit about the jobs. Again, I'll focus primarily on the pay rates for the enumerator, because as I said, that's where our greatest need lies. The enumerator makes $25.50 per hour. Okay, they are responsible for going door to door. Um, even in a time of COVID, the health and welfare of all of our employees is most critical. So we do provide protective equipment so that they can maintain a safe environment out in the fields while they perform their work. Okay. Um, these positions are anticipated to last several weeks. But as workload declines, um, the hours can be reduced. As far as with uh, availability, the enumerator, we do ask you to be flexible in being able to work evenings and weekends because this particular position does require you dealing with the public while they're at home. So they're usually home during those times, the evening and the weekends. But however, it is a flexible position. All of our positions are paid weekly through direct deposit, okay? And as I said, they are temporary positions. If you are looking for uh, additional work after the temporary position has expired, we do have a list of jobs on the census career page, as well as our usajobs.gov website. All of our 2020 census positions are equal opportunity. So we do encourage everyone to apply. Um, if you should have a disability, that's fine. If you are interviewed, you can certainly acquire about accommodations during the interview process. So we do strongly urge that everyone apply. For veterans, if you served active duty in the military and were honorably discharged, you may qualify for the uh, veterans preference. Again, go ahead and apply and we'll review that with you once you are called, okay? Now, when you apply for one of our positions, um, the job application, the only way to apply is online at the 2020census.gov jobs. The job application is right on our website and you will have to answer a few basic assessment questions. It takes approximately 30 minutes, okay? And it'll walk you through everything right on our website. The assessment questions simply ask applicants just to describe their education, their work, or other experiences related to successful job performance. However, there is no experience necessary. Uh, you just have to be 18 years and older, no college degree, and we do not need a resume for any of our positions. Now, at this time, let's see here.
Again, you would go to our website at 2020census.gov forward slash jobs to apply. That is the only way to apply for our positions. Once you are on this website, if you happen to come up with any questions uh, following this webinar, you can certainly go to our Frequently Asked Questions page. While you're on the job site, just click the link for the FAQs. And if you'd like assistance over the phone, you can certainly give us a call. That number is 1-855-562-5673. And I'll repeat that. That's 855-562-2020. And our website, again, for filling out the application online is 2020census.gov forward slash jobs. And again, I just want to give a very special thank you to Philadelphia Works and Philly Counts for allowing us to come here today to tell you about the positions that we have available here at the 2020 Census. Thank you, Aunt Brecca, for the helpful employment information that you just gave us. And hopefully you, the audience members, feel more confident and empowered about applying for these many great job opportunities. All right, and at this time, we're going to transition to the questions and answers segment of the webinar, moderated by Tamika Norman and Tiffany Carter. As I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, the moderators will answer questions in the chat box first, and then the moderators will open up the floor to verbal questions from the audience members that dialed in to the webinar. So thank you to everyone that typed questions in the chat box, and I'll let Tamika and Tiffany take over. No questions. I think we already had one question. It was answered. All right, no more questions. I don't see any more questions in the chat. Do we have any callers? People have dialed in that have a question? No? All right, last call for questions. Okay. All right. So, oh, Jeanette, you're up. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining today's webinar. I want to give a special thank you for our speakers and our moderators for sharing their insight and expertise. Uh, I believe you saw the information about um, the 2020 census and how to apply for the job, as well as what you should do if you have any questions. Yep. So that information should also be in the chat for you. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Philadelphia Works, please access the Philadelphia Works website at www.philoworks.org. And furthermore, if you'd like to contact Janetta and me regarding our community outreach initiatives, please contact us at cwoods at philoworks.org or jfraser at philoworks.org. And these email addresses um, will also be dropped into the chat box for those of you that have questions for us. So I will conclude with that. I want to thank everyone for their time and attendance, and I hope that everyone has a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. All right, goodbye.